just one thing at a time is what <laughs> I'm trying to realize about myself, but. <laughs> changing things and I did a few things that were quite life changing for me. I downsized because what is astronomical these days and I want to save money because I want to buy a house at some point in my life. I want to be in a house. I do not want to continuously move from apartment to apartment. And I don't want to stay at an apartment that's going to keep continuously increasing by 50%. So yeah, um, that's what the goal is, and you know, if I start today, instead of like moping and being sad, I could, you know, make a little bit of progress, but um, I did some cleaning today, my kitchen, which, so for reference, I used to live in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment uh, in the Dallas uh, Fort Worth Metroplex, a little bit in the north. And um, I downsized to a one bedroom. It is me and my teenage daughter. Uh, we will be sharing a one bedroom, but uh, on the flip side, I will be purchasing a new couch with the pullout option so that um, when we do get upset with each other, we need that separation. I can come in here or she can come in here, um, either or, it doesn't matter. Uh, right now, I've been kind of blow up in my living room and she has been on her blow up in the bedroom. So we don't have mattresses here, but we do have the bed. We're just waiting on delivery. Once that is delivered, then we can get our bed situated and I can move forward with buying or purchasing furniture for the living room. I don't want to purchase anything right now um, due to the fact that we are still on blow-up mattresses and we wouldn't have anywhere to put the blow-up mattresses. Um, even if we got a couch, it still would be cluttered. I have boxes everywhere. So, yeah, this is life. I'm trying not to be an overachiever. I'm trying not to be overwhelmed. I'm trying not to be all over the place about this. I understand this is life and things happen. She didn't have right um but yeah i just <sighs> decided to talk through this and to be better and to document my journey why not so <clears throat> excuse the mess but um i work from home currently so this is my setup um, I have a portable mon monitor that I've been using my work and then I bought like a little desk to set it up because I just needed anything I didn't care um, as you can see I have stuff everywhere my monitor my real monitor is on the floor because it won't fit on this desk um, and I also am missing a docking station so yeah um, boxes everywhere I haven't taken the time to unpack them and I know that's part of my anxiety. I know this is why I have the anxiety that I have. I know this is why I have the anxiety that I have because stuff is everywhere. I'm not a messy person. I don't like mess. Mess is not my forte. My blow up situation, more boxes. And yeah, this is, this is life right now. Um, still have stuff everywhere, but I know when I have a clean kitchen, 
I'm going good about life. So yeah, a bit of adjustment and uh, I'm trying to get acclimated, get myself together. I have so much stuff that I need to do regarding purchases for this new place. Um, trying to get it together, but I'm not there yet. And I'm gonna try to take it slow and not rush anything, but I can tell you that um, I had a bit of anxiety about not having everything together. But I guess this is a lesson for me because you don't always have to have everything together. It's just okay to go in steps. It's okay to take your time. Um, just one thing at a time is what <laughs> I'm trying to realize about myself, but <laughs> It's so hard, it's so difficult. I just wanna get everything at once, but I know it's unrealistic um, with me trying to save, with me trying to do parenting. Um, so for those of you that are shifting and transitioning and moving and doing all these things and sporadically having to up and, and leave and, and coexist with you know, your humans or your parents or whoever, your little humans, I mean, like kids. Yeah, just know that it's okay. And stop being um, things. I'm sorry about the dishwasher going because it was loud. But, oh gosh, don't get overwhelmed. Use me as a lesson, as a, a point of reference. <laughs> You have to take it one day at a time and one task at a time, right? So that's what I've been trying to do. But um, yeah, just wanted to give everybody an update or give an update on life and how it's been going. <laughs> and if y'all are anything like me, you're trying not to lose your mind because it's been a little insane. And you know what? I also think about like social media is not making it any better. Um, and when I say sh social media, I mean these, you know, very relevant people on famous people on U YouTube and Instagram. Well, I wouldn't even say YouTube because YouTube, you have like realistic expectations of some people and they kind of, I don't know, you can choose who you need to follow, but sometimes I see certain things that suggest to me or even on the real speed, you you can't really control, well, you could, the algorithm, algorithm a little bit, but you see unrealistic expectations. I see all these beautiful homes, these beautiful places, people living lavishly. Uh, you know, a girl can dream, I'm dreaming. I'll be there one day, but today is not the day, right? So in order to get there, you just had to take little steps, right? And that's what I'm doing, little steps, baby steps. And I'm trying not to get overwhelmed doing it. But um, don't have unrealistic expectations of yourself. It's okay, everybody's not millionaires. So it's okay to be a thousandaire. It's okay to be a hundred thousandaire. So one step at a time, you just, got to start somewhere and I just decided I want to start today and I don't want anybody to get in my way <laughs> well um yeah that's that's all I got and just here's a clip of me cleaning up my place time in between time. I hope you're having a beautiful day.